discovered the Erujians are transporting a large quantity of strategic supplies and rapid deployment troops into Converth Harbor. Converth appears to be the staging area for an attack on North Point. The Acre Fleet stationed here seems to be the centerpiece of this strike. If the Erujians complete their troop preparations and the Acre Fleet sets sail, this will bring about our defeat in this war. Your mission is to intercept and shoot down the enemy transport planes in and around Converth Harbor. Let's show them how vulnerable they are. Be advised, the transport aircraft have ECMs on board that emit powerful jamming signals. Rely on visual contact rather than radar. So ECM. We need plenty of missiles. One of one of the most worst hangers <laughs> hangers in the, the game. We could take a F F F15. So I uh, have Rafael. That's pretty good. Good in this game. I don't think we need to specifically buy anything. F2, so I'm purchasing F2, just want, want to test it. So it has um, rockets. Uh, pretty good stats. Ah, uh, it, it doesn't have a to air. Ah, let, let, let's go with it. With it. I'm, I'm going to see if there's any air-to-air -air missiles I could buy. Okay, so it only has uh, air-to-ground weapons. Ah. We don't need to air-to-air -air weapons, so we might as well go with this. Just shoot this with, with uh, uh, traditional missiles. There's uh, 68 of them. So. Should be enough. Visual and transport soon. Destroy the E-767s hidden nearby to clear the jamming from our radar. Good luck. Mobius One, engage. Okay, so jamming draft. Jamming draft are usually somewhere up high. There's one.
one, Fox two. You're in gun range. Nice kill! The mission was a success. This erosion air corridor has been effectively shut down. But it, it went pretty smooth. Okay, rank C. I didn't destroy everything, so that's why C. Okay, B. Okay, what's the fun? Oh, A, A was for the fun. Yeah, could, could be faster. I think you need to have a, like better best fighters to be able to do the fast lifeline. Converse Harbor, home of the Agri Fleet, is completely dependent on a single petrochemical complex for its fuel supply. The complex consists of a land-based oil refinery storage facility and an offshore oil drilling platform. Your mission is to go out and destroy, or at least damage, these sites. Our objective is to reduce production output of this complex to 20% or less. By cutting off the port's fuel supply, we will delay and disrupt the combat deployment of the Aegir fleet. I suppose we are going to go to the beach first and then into the oil support. Support platforms. And since we are hunting... Then just, just, just state, static uh, targets where we can use the rocket launcher. I, I like this. This is pretty fun. Fun to fly. Jap Japanese F-16 version. Two thousand points. Shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. Commence operation. Split into two groups and destroy targets. Inflict as much damage as possible to the complex and reduce their output. Oil tanker. Heads up. They've got AA guns. Keep an eye out for Sam's. Fox 2. Clear to engage. Oil rig at vector 050. Eight miles. Mobius 1, engage. Refinery in vector 290, 8 miles. I've got my hands full! Use the flame as a beacon. Engaging. Take out the fighters first. 
Ah, I shot too early. But it wasn't going to be like cool, cool pass. Okay, a few tanks. Say your prayers. Sounded wrong. Enemy facility destroyed. Locked on. Release. I lost him. Right on the way. Set my six. Pass drop. Get rid of that chopper too. Enemy facility destroyed. No good. He's right behind. What about the other target? Firing slowly, slower than slower than other games. Enemy facility destroyed. Take that day's turn. Using up a bit too much weapons, but all right. Let's go and clean the whole place. Fox two, 
interested in dogfight right now. A rank. Mobius one heavy group hot appears to be five targets in the group. Yellows. Yellows quadrant. Basically, fighting this is suicide in this point of game.
The enemy lost 5 million barrels of reserves and the ability to process 250,000 barrels of crude oil daily. The Interfleet is effectively immobilized and no longer a threat. Unfortunately, our losses were high as well. We now rely on your skills more than ever to compensate for our losses. Nice. A freeway under construction in a wheat field outside of town. When they started construction, I remember how the mayor bragged about it even though it would completely bypass our town. The freeway became the occupation force's makeshift runway and the unfinished tunnels their bunkers. This was their base. They were the elite flight squadron chosen to protect the cannon. Ironically, the same cannon that was created to shoot down the asteroids became a catalyst to the war. But when the Allied attacks no longer came, the squadron was assigned long-range missions that took them to distant battlefields. I thought of the words I would use to confront him and bided my time. Although I harbored these feelings within me, I could never get close to him. His wingman was always by his side. Despite having a gentle demeanor, I could tell that the wingman would never allow danger to get near Yellow 13, even on land. The pillar of their group, 13 exuded an air of invincibility. He always chose to fly a five-plane formation. He was a man who prided himself not on his kill record, but on his record of never losing a squadron member. It's difficult for me to describe just how good Yellow 13's flying was. But I witnessed it once from the ground. The lead plane with the five-plane formation should have turned the same arc with the same timing as the others. Yet only his plane drew sharp contrails. His heart felt compassion towards the weaker enemies he downed. Someday, if an equal appeared and challenged the limits of his skills in a fight, he would bear no resentment about being shot down. He said this himself. And so as time passed, I found the goodness of a home in their company. Leaving them was no longer an option for me now. Getting comfortable with, with the enemy. <laughs> 